What's good everyone, it's ZigZag here, welcome back to another GeoGuessr video, and today we are once again playing on an artificial Street View world, which basically includes all the countries of the world, all those which aren't on Street View, and all of those which are, except with no car meta. So this is basically the authentic meta-free GeoGuessr experience that we all want. However, there's only 5,000 locations. I'm gonna give it another go today, should be a lot of fun. You may have noticed in the top right that my avatar has actually changed, and that is because tonight I'm playing in the Rainbolt tournament, so that should be going right now as this video goes up, theoretically and it will be on Twitch TV forward slash Rainbolt. And uh, yeah, we have teamed up with a really strong team here. I'll show you my team. It is Zergut Sand and we have me, Trichter, Radu, Lenly, Finbar, and our fill-ins are South by and Lero. This is a crazy team. I mean, I feel like every single person in this team can compete at the top level. So it's really exciting, but obviously playing against Team Consus, no easy feat. So do go ahead and support us tonight. Also, I wanted to mention that my merch will be out very soon. I filmed the Q&A. So when the Q&A goes up, my merch will as well. You gotta go ahead and cop that. And finally, before we get into things, do use the uh, creator code zigzag, Z-A-H-G, -E -G, to give me a portion of anything you buy in the shop. And also for first time subscribers to GeoGuess, you should get a one month discount as well using my code. At least that's how I think it works. Uh, so yeah, let's get straight into things here and uh, we'll play on no moving, uh, panning or zooming and see what kind of rounds we get. I'm aiming for a country streak here. So let's just see uh, what comes about. First round here, very tropical. We have these white painted poles at the bottom that looks very Brazilian. And indeed they do have these sections that Brazilian poles have in them. Now it feels quite Amazonian as well, just because the road is very shoddy and we have like very like tropical looking trees. We even have Belém palms. So these, this particular variant of palms is very common in the state of Pará. Um, but then again, we have blue street signs, which I know is like quite a common like feature in Acre. So I'm not really sure which one to trust here or if we're just somewhere in the middle, but I do think Brazil is highly likely here. I might trust these Balean Palms, I think. I do think that just somewhere in this area could really work. And if we are not on a street official street view, why not let's click somewhere where that has no street view, this peninsula here, and see if we're right. And okay, it was Amapa, that makes sense. Really good start here. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, this is a nice little example of, you know, uh, without Google Car Meta, we can still use our like vegetation metas and all that kind of stuff to get really close. So, or, you know, relatively close. Five, 400 kilometers is still not that close, but you know, in the right region of a big country. Next one here. This feels like an African capital city to me. We're driving right. It honestly feels quite a lot like, um, like Rwanda, the capital city Kigali. Um, they do have these curbs there. They do drive right hand side of the road here. And also it feels like a lot like Kenya, but we're driving right. So I feel like Rwanda, Burundi both fit nicely. Um, it is definitely greener than you normally see in Rwanda on Google Street View coverage, but I feel like they may have just done it during the dry season or something. Um, I think the topography fits really nicely as well. I just don't remember what number plates they use in in Rwanda because I feel like they may actually use yellow rear plates and I don't see any here. Um, but I'm gonna trust it here, guys. I really do think it looks a lot like that. Second option, Burundi. Third option, I'm not even sure. I actually think we might just be correct here. Maybe something in West Africa also could work here for sure. Okay, I'm gonna go for Rwanda here. And it was Rwanda, let's go, man. Absolutely banging guess there. I'm pretty happy with that. So yeah, one country, true country streak here. Let's see what we get next. A five country streak is still my goal on an MPZ on this map. And I think it's possible, but it's definitely no easy task. Uh, we have Arabic on the number plates here. Um, I don't think they're Egyptian number plates. I don't think they're Lebanese number plates, nor do I think they're Israeli or Palestinian, nor Georgian. So that kind of a... Uh, kind of cuts out, Jordanian, sorry. That kind of cuts out some uh, options for us here. Now, these trees feel very like Mediterranean Sea, so maybe Libya or something like that could work quite nicely. Um, Iran, I wasn't really feeling so much. Syria is possible though, I don't mind Syria here. So that's kind of my, uh, it's kind of my vibe at the moment. Maybe Syria is actually a pretty decent shout. I just don't remember what their number plates look like at all. So it's gonna have to be pure vibes here. It could also just as easily be like Pakistan or something like that. I actually don't hate that, but uh, I don't think the buildings feel like India and often Pakistan does kind of have an Indian feel. Not to mention these pines feeling a lot more Mediterranean, as I said. So Syria at least kind of gets close to the Mediterranean or does touch it briefly. Um, so I think I like that. Could easily see like Algeria, Libya, something like that. But I think I think S Syria overall is my vibe here. So let's guess in uh, in Hama here and see if I'm right. And okay, it was actually Libya. Yeah, gettable, but unfortunately just wasn't quite. Um, yeah, it was it was Mediterranean feeling. So that's that's like it would have been my third option. I think uh, not bad. Okay, next one here. What are we gonna get? Ooh, 
That is, ooh, this looks very Peruvian. This tricycle all of a sudden looks very Peruvian to me. So now I'm trying to confirm with the rest of the landscape. So they use these kind of bicycle, motorbike powered bicycle looking track things a lot there. You can also see them in Southeast Asia though. And the house off behind my webcam does almost feel a little bit Southeast Asian. So you could also maybe see these in like Philippines. I'm even wondering just with the landscape at hand, maybe this could be like Northern Thailand or M Myanmar. Maybe not Thailand, because I don't think I've seen this kind of track there, but you know, that kind of area. I think all in all though, this tree kind of feels Peruvian. This definitely immediately struck me as Peruvian. And on GeoGuess, you get similar rounds with official street view. So I would be thinking maybe up in that Tarapoto region here where it's very tropical, you get these kind of valleys that are very green and the tracks are very common in that Northern region of Peru. So hopefully I'm right here. Second option may even just be like Philippines or something with this, uh, cause they get similar ones there, but okay, let's guess this. And yeah, it was nice. Very good, very good, 4,000 points. Okay, last one of the seed here. Can we make it a 19K? That would be pretty crazy. Uh, it looks like it's gonna be difficult because there's no obvious clues here. I think this might be Spanish on the uh, side of the wall there. So that could immediately make me think of like Central America here. Didn't really get so much of a Caribbean vibe, but yeah, Central America feels decent. I don't think it's a, an official Street View coverage country. Like I don't think it's Colombia. I don't think it's Mexico, Guatemala. Um, but somewhere in between those countries could certainly work in my opinion. It's super green. So somewhere closer to the equator, maybe not Panama, but yeah, I mean, I think Panama and Costa Rica normally look nicer than this. So maybe Nicaragua um, or Honduras or El Salvador, maybe those ones fit quite nicely. Uh, thatched roofs as well, that almost feels quite, it's reminiscent of like Guatemala or Yucatan Peninsula here. And it actually could be Yucatan Peninsula. Does the pole fit? Because all of a sudden, I don't mind that idea. The architecture with the big white cinder blocks, that is similar. Um, all in all though, I don't see a Mexican electricity counter. I don't think I'm quite happy enough to go Mex. So I, instead I think I'll go Honduras. Yeah, let's try that out. And okay, it was Peru again. That time I did not get a Peru vibe, I must admit. Um, though, to be fair, it was pretty sparse in terms of information there. So we start off with a 14,000 score there. Three good guesses, two uh, average guesses. I think it's fair to say, not terrible, but average. Okay, moving into the next seed here. And we have, it looks to be Africa. Um, and we have a bunch of taxis here. These are like the Ghanan style taxis with the yellow panels on them. So I'm thinking West Africa here. We have French language instead though. Uh, ooh, is that a orange number plate? Could we be in Cameroon here? I don't mind that idea. It looks like it might be an orange number plate. And uh, even though it doesn't look that much like Nigeria, we could be in the bordering country considering the French language here. Uh, do we, I mean, yeah, the people definitely fitting in terms of how they look to me. Um, and we only really see one normal car here, one non-taxi car. So it's relatively sparse information, unfortunately. Uh, but overall, I guess, I guess I'm just gonna have to trust that. The uh, landscape does fit, the uh, climate does fit. Uh, the only problem is that this can really be a wide range. And look at that, we have a Sulawesi, I mean, a, a Sumatran palm here. Not that common in Africa from what I've seen. Dwala seems like a decent guess here. It kind of feels quite coastal with that palm. So I'm gonna go for it here. Let's see if I'm correct about that. When it was Dwala, nice little guess there. Should have actually tried to line up the road because the compass should be correct. And this was definitely the main street. So I, yeah, I mean, I just clicked on the name, but this is definitely gettable. Unfortunate there, but I mean, really fortunate in, in, in all things considered. Okay, and the next one here, tropical feeling vegetation here, which is interesting. Could this be Malaysia? Uh. Looking at the house here, I wasn't really feeling that, but the pole almost feels Malaysian. So that's kind of interesting. The road almost feels like European. And in all honesty, the vegetation, I don't really pick it. It almost felt like Panama or something like that. This looks like it might be some bamboo behind the wall here. I think it may be. Um, and we have like some cacti growing in the front of the, hmm. I don't know what I like here. Okay, one thing I will say, this blue barrel, they're really, really common on Labuan Federal Territory in Malaysia. It's a crazy guess, because I don't think the rest of the round really looks like that. Except the pole and the and the blue thing both fit for it. And actually this ditch here does fit for it as well. Otherwise, I was kind of thinking Central America, which is much less specific. So I kind of, I think I'm gonna like struggle not to guess here, I think. Uh, but the red brick house is very strange. I think it's just going to be somewhere in Latin America. 
but screw it, man. You know, you gotta, you gotta go for the crazy guesses sometimes, especially when, like, it's not a tournament, nothing's on the line. I'm gonna go Lab 1, fer Federal Territory here. Do we have a hill in the background? Kind of. I think Lab 1's quite flat, but I'm gonna go for it anyway here. And, okay, what's well, Venezuela? Trinidad and Tobago, even. Yeah, zero pointer there. Turns out Trinidad and Tobago have very similar infrastructure as uh, Lab 1 Island. There you go. Good to know. But uh, no no cigar on that occasion. Zero to hero. Well, hero to zero on this seed so far. Next one here. Loading in slowly. This... Ooh, we driving right. Okay, we are. Then I feel like Mexico kind of works quite nicely here. This looks like a typical Mexican field, maybe somewhere near Mexico City. Um, my first thought was actually, like, Cyprus, but Cyprus drives left-hand side of the road, so we can forget about that. Um, but could this be South America? Yeah, it could be. I do just get the feeling that this is, like, a very Mexican, like, climate here, where you got, like, a Norfolk pine here, you got some very green areas, obviously this is, a, like, a soccer pitch, but also the hills being very dry as well. It, it seems to fit nicely to me, so I was thinking maybe, like, Puebla here, maybe Tlaxcala, or somewhere just north of Mexico City. Um, if it's not there then I would be suggesting maybe... Ooh, could it be Venezuela again? Maybe. I think Venezuela would actually be my second option here, just because I'm not really too familiar with what it kind of looks like in this region here, uh, where it could be. Um, I don't think it's like Bolivia or anything. I hope not. It almost looks like we have white lines here, but I think, you know, you do see those occasionally in Puebla, so it's not even a bad shout, but yeah, I'm going to go for this here. I hope this is not Europe. I really, I really don't think it should be with this field. Feels very Mexican. Let's see if I'm right. And okay, it was actually Guanajuato there. Actually, definitely makes sense, but we had white bricks, which are more common east of Mexico City rather than west. So yeah, not a bad shout there. Definitely uh, got the vibe off the landscape there. And actually Guanajuato, I believe, is another state where you do see quite a lot of those white road lines. Okay, we have some canola growing here. Uh, we have very, very Soviet looking houses, very Soviet looking poles some slight hills. To me, this is Russia, Belarus, or Ukraine, but somewhere in this region, probably. And why not try a bit of Belarus action here? I think Belarus is very flat, right? But um, it, def it definitely looks like it could be that. If not, probably northern Ukraine anyway. So I'm going to go for this guess. Let's see. And okay, well, it's actually in Lithuania there. Can't say I really thought of that. I thought the houses looked more like Ukrainian, but... I actually do, every now and again, confuse Lithuania and Ukraine on an MPZ anyway, so I guess it's not that surprising. And we did go Belarus at least, which is a good bonus as well. In the last round here, we still can beat our last round score. And we have, I think, just, just, just some Sri Lanka here. Holy poles, very green, lots of palms. To me, this would make me want to click in the south part of the country. Um, and I will do that on the coast here, because... It kind of looks like candy where it's so green with the palms, but we appear to be pretty flat here. So that's why I think Southern is good. And it was just middle instead, just like the first flat bit after candy, apparently. Yeah, I mean, we do have hills here even, but just couldn't quite see them. And there we go. I was like 16,400. Let's go for one more for this video. I love this map, guys. I really do. It is just like so enjoyable to play. Okay, a little bit of a lower quality location here, but you know, you have to make sacrifices sometimes when you're working with so few photospheres in some countries. Uh, this looks like a uh, Swedish bus stop. I, I don't know if I can get the exact place, but yeah, this is also a Swedish sign. These are German style bollards. You see those often in the south of Sweden. I also just thought that this looked like the uh, southernmost state in, uh, in, in Sweden, which is, what's it called? Skane, Skane, whatever it's called, but yeah. It kind of has like a vaguely, we do have birches, but it's a vaguely like Danish looking landscape where it's kind of rolling hills. This could be anywhere up to Stockholm for me. In fact, I think Skåne might have different bus stops. So I'm actually going to move off it. Instead, I'm going to go Jön, Jön Köping instead. And it was there. Nice, good switch. Yeah, I, I kind of remember that they might have a red one there. And uh, sure enough, near the lake, they have a bit of that rolling landscape. Very good guess here. Is that our first round? Okay, it was. Nice, good start in terms of score. Second round here, loading in, we have yellow plates. Ooh wee. Okay, yellow rear plates and white front plates. This is actually the UK, surprisingly enough. I wasn't thinking that off the bat. Okay, so it's a weird feeling UK. It feels like it might be even overseas territory here. Let's run through our options. So, I don't think it's Gibraltar, but I want to mention it in case it is, just because the houses feel strange and the climate does too. It almost feels like Italy or something. Not quite Spain. But yeah, I wanted to mention that just in case it ends up being there. Jersey or Guernsey? Does Guernsey have cliff faces? 
because uh, we don't have this on GeoGuessr, but Jersey does feel possible to me as well. I think it's probably not there. I think it's most likely just to be south coast of the UK, Hastings or Dover or something like that, but worth a little thought there, worth a little thought for sure. And yeah, I just think it's somewhere along the south coast and I'm not sure where. I think Southampton, you know, Bournemouth have similar looking places sometimes. Hastings is not a bad shout, I feel. Because we definitely do see some kind of big structure going on here. I don't really know. I'm, I'm going to go for Hastings here as a bit of a hedge along the south coast of England. And I will not be surprised if we're quite wrong here. But I'm curious regardless. Okay, what's Jersey? Damn. Yeah, I got the vibe off the houses, but I didn't know that they would have such like a big... Stru oh, it was a castle. I thought that it meant that that was going to be like some kind of a hill or something, but instead it was just a castle. I was actually five cable. I can't even lie, but, you know, it would have taken a pretty special guess to get it. Regardless, we are pretty close there. Next one here. Loading in. Germany, maybe? Hmm. Maybe it's... Ooh, ooh, it's Quebec. Okay, so Quebec has these uh, red and white chevrons, which are pretty much unique to Quebec in, in, in its entirety. Now I'm just thinking, do the houses actually fit here? And I'm actually thinking that we may be in Hungary or something. Another country where they use these chevrons. Let me think now. Let me cook it up. I think the other countries that use those ones are like, what other countries even use those ones? I'm trying to think, like, I don't think it's many. Uh, Hungary definitely does. Maybe does Austria. I don't think Austria does either. So yeah, this is like a Hungary or Quebec 50-50 here. But what I'm noticing is lots of corn crops that fits for both places. Uh, a r triangular sign in the distance here fits much better for Europe. These double story houses everywhere, they don't really feel Hungarian. Hungary tends to like a lot of one-story houses, I think. So why am I actually still tossing up? The road feels ultra European, man. This feels like I might be right on the uh, Austrian border because it looks like a German road or something, but we can't really be touching Germany in Hungary. Um, and I don't, I just don't remember what Austria actually uses because I think Austria would be a pretty safe guess compared to Hungary, but I just don't feel like they use these chevrons. Uh, okay, I see a very Hungarian-looking roof in the distance here that I hadn't noticed, but hmm, not loving it, to be honest. Still don't love it with this house. This doesn't feel like... This feels more Canadian than Hungarian, in all honesty, but the road and the cyclists, they feel so European. So I have to go here. I'm very curious, guys. This is, uh, this is a little scary. Surely it's not like Netherlands or something. We don't see any hills. Oh, we may. We may see a hill there, actually. Well, it looks like Germany, but I think Germany has the other chevrons, so I'm going to go here. Okay, and it was Austria. I just forgot that Austria had those, unfortunately. I mean, Austria is normally a very easy country to get, but honestly, I would have gone there if I uh, if I was permitted to by my knowledge. Uh, but we're on a good score still. And here we have maybe some... Uh, ooh. Huh. So we have a very red road here. I think this might be Hawaii. We have like a... Mm, Okay, so we have like a, a yellow, a couple of yellow bands there. That indicates California normally. And normally Hawaii has like a bigger yellow like square on their poles. However, I'm very much struck by how red this road is and how tropical the vibe is and how like kind of strange the houses look. So I just think it's Hawaii. I think I have to completely ignore everything else and go Hawaii here. Ignore whatever that pole is saying. Also, Hawaiian roads tend to have circular reflectors instead of horizontal ones like this one or rectangular. I don't care. I have to go here. I'm going for it. Let's see. Okay. It was actually Hawaii. Very nice. I was a little worried because the infrastructure looked more Californian, but yeah, had to be there. We picked the wrong island, unfortunately. Last one here. What are we going to get? We can get a nice score here for sure. And it is going to be a, is that a Czechoslovak a guardrail here? It's a B-type guardrail for sure. Um, I think this might be a Czechoslovak one. I've never seen one of those on GeoGuessr though, so it's a bit scary. Um, so what do we even have going on here in general? We have some kind of a, like a river. We have a lot of like pine trees, um, steps in the ground. Yeah, I mean, this is we're pretty much clutching at straws here. It looks like the, this is a hilly landscape and it looks like this is like carved out for like getting up and down there maybe. So that's kind of interesting. I think I have to trust the guardrail here, even though it is so very strange. I guess, like, I think it's here, but it could be something out in Central Asia or something. Not out of the question, Georgia, Azerbaijan. Not really sure what type of guardrails they have, so it's one of those rounds where you really just 
well, you're looking at a snowy forest basically, and that is it. So yeah, I'm gonna go for Slovakia here. It's the most likely to me. We'll see how wrong we are. And it was Slovakia, wowie. Okay, so look at this score guys, 22,000 there. So Jersey, I could have gone, picked up an extra thousand points. Austria, I could have picked up an extra 500. And everything else was, well, I just had the wrong idea for Hawaii, but this could have been a 24,000 point score, honestly, in all honesty, uh, but that is okay. Let's see where that puts us on the NMPZ leaderboard. It puts us first, which is also really nice because a bunch of people have played this map. So there we go. That is the end of the video. Imagine we could have made an unbeatable one instead. No can do for this uh, occasion. But guys, thank you so much for watching the video all the way to the end. I hope you guys really enjoyed it and uh, tune into the tournament if you are watching at this stage. And yeah, guys, I'll see you guys next time. Catch you later and goodbye.